Ministries every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is another episode, and today you will get some good information, some great nuggets, and some tools to strengthen your relationship. The Couples Corner with Team Bevins. Morning, people. How y'all feeling tonight? Welcome to the Couples Corner with Team Bevins. I am Marcus, and this is my wonderful wife, Sheree. And tonight, guys, we are getting in this conversation tonight. This is a good one. This is one that we uh, need to talk about because we don't actually talk enough about it. It's a cliche. It gets used often, um, but we need to find out where the substance is with it. Uh, So after we pray, we're going to be talking about relationship goals. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you. For another opportunity to gather together in the couple's corner. We thank you for every person who is uh, with us tonight. We thank you for what you're going to share with us, what you're going to reveal to us, and what you're going to allow us to experience tonight. We thank you for the fellowship. We thank you for the insight that we will gain and how we will be better. Our relationships will be better and be stronger as a result of this uh, couple's corner. We look forward to what you're going to do. We love you. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So uh, many of you, especially if you are, um, you know, social media or anything like that, you know, you are probably seeing uh, relationship goals as a hashtag uh, pretty often. And, um, you know, that's something that we see a lot of. But the question is, what are we actually doing with it? What are our real relationship goals? You know? Um, One of the things that I noticed um, a lot of is that people are putting, you know, hashtag relationship goals under um, some things that they see or under some people that they see. And all although that might seem like it's cool, the real question is, you know, are you really willing to um, do what it takes to get that? Because a lot of people are saying, you know, that's a relationship goal or whatever. But do you only want the goal and and you want it minus the process? Because, you know, in some cases, what we're looking at is a to a degree finished product that we fell in love with and not the process to get to it. And, um, you know, it's kind of like you wanting to be with a millionaire, you wanting to be a millionaire and you're looking at some millionaires and you're like, yeah, that's what I want to be. I'm going to be a millionaire. But. But the process that it takes, the work ethic that it takes, the dedication, the commitment that it takes in order to get there, do you have that? You know what I mean? Are you ready to put that kind of work in or are you looking for a handout? And you can't look for a handout in a relationship because that relationship takes work. And, you know, the reality is in order for us to be successful in our relationships, we have to have some standards. We have to have some goals. We have to have some things that we are really looking for and that we want to accomplish and then we can start to reach some of those goals that we are referring to so um, tonight that's what we're going to kind of talk about because there's a lot of um, you know I don't want to say useless but there's a lot of, of you know slinging around of some terms and some things that we may say or you know make mention of Uh, But the reality is, are we actually willing to do what it takes to reach that goal? That's the real question. That's what we have to uh, really put on the table and really consider, because if we are not going to actually consider that, then are we really doing uh, a disservice to the statement? You know, when we say that this is a relationship goal or this is where we want to be, this is what we want to do, this is where we're trying to get to. All of those things matter. So. Um, for those of you who are, you know, tuned in through Mixed Station Radio, we thank you for joining us tonight, as well as for those of you who are on live with us on Facebook. Um, we thank you all for joining us. And when you have a question or a comment, feel free to 
uh, call in. The number is 1-855-493-6499. Again, that's 1-855-493-6499 with your questions and your comments because we do want to hear from you with some of the uh, relationship goals that you have or some of the things that you have been looking at and have made uh, you know, a relationship goal um, so that we can really, you know, kind of get into this conversation and, and really pull out some things that we all can walk away from this better because of. So um, one of the first things that I, I do want to, um, you know, ask is when you use that term of relationship goal, what do you mean by that? You know, what's what's your what's your angle? And again, I, I, you know, I made reference to it in the beginning, you know, do you look at people's results without looking at their process? Mm -hmm. You know, that's what, that's what we really have to, um, you know, we really have to look at that. You know, are we really looking at the result and not the process? And are we willing to do what it takes to get to that? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a, it's a, it's a mandatory thing. So let's jump into it. What's your, what's your relationship goal and how you plan to get there? That's the first thing, you know, how you plan to get there. Um, I'll, I'll say for, you know, for us, we, we've had, you know, tons of goals that we have set and things that we've done. We've put some time frames on them. We've done some, uh, years, like a five year plan where we want to be or what we want to try to do, uh, things we want to obtain places we want to be within our relationship, um, you know, just different perspectives. And we try to stay on that, you know, and try to kind of check up and see where we are, what we didn't do, if we did more than what we thought we were going to do, all of that. Um, but, you know, do we have, do we actually have a vision, you know, for our relationship? Do we have a, a, a vision? Do we have a, any type of goals or are we just, you know, just living life and going, we just, you know, doing whatever. Um, you know that's something to that's something to consider. So let's uh let's jump at uh let's jump in in here first with some of the uh, comments that we have, and then we'll get into one of our first uh, points of topic tonight. Um, someone said I don't I don't recall ever using that hashtag because I realize what I see on the surface is nothing like the iceberg underneath. Very good, um, and that's the truth. You know, a lot of people. A lot of people, you know, say that they look at, at different people, they look at different things and, you know, they like, oh, yeah, you know, this, I want to do that or I want to be here. I want to, you know, do all of that. And, and the question is, do you really, you know, um, we've said it many of times, not that we are, you know, um, all that because we don't carry it like we all that because we know we're not all that. But. You know, people say stuff about Team Bevins or what have you, and be like, you know, could you endure what Team Bevins has endured? You know, could you could you go through what Team Bevins has gone through? Could you stand through the storms that we've gone through? You know, um, so when you say um, that's a relationship goal, you know, I don't know if you want to say relationship goal. You might want to say that that's an outcome. That's that's you know that's a place that I want to end up. But if you had to retract our relationship and walk the steps that we've walked and, and experience the things that we've experienced, you know, taking the losses that we've taken and all of that to, to get to a place where you can be comfortable enough within yourself and within your relationship to be able to help someone else. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's that's really where we are. And that's what we do. We do this not because of anything other than hopefully to prevent someone else from experiencing the things that we've experienced, you know, from failing in areas that we've already failed in or, you know, to teach some lessons. So your lesson doesn't have to be as painful as ours was. But at the end of the day, for someone to say that it's a relationship goal, you know, that sounds good on the surface, but the real deal is, um, you know, could you really handle it if you had to, if you had to walk a week in the shoes of Team Bevins? You know, if you had to deal with the responsibilities that that we have to deal with or, and not just us, but any any person or any, you know, situation that you're saying is a relationship goal. You know, a lot of people look at um, 
people who have longevity in their relationships, sometimes as parents or grandparents or just different um, aspect of relationships. And they're like, you know, yeah, that's that's how I want to be. I want to be like them. Or I want to be like them. And, and you may not want to say that. You may just want to say, I want the success that they have. You know, I want to reach the, the goal that they reach. But I don't want to be like them because, you know, most people aren't actually sitting down and, and telling you the story. You know, they aren't giving you the backstory to uh, what it took to get to that place and to be um, who they are at that particular point. So those are some those are some some key points that we really have to um, consider and look at. So um, you'll read a couple of the comments. Um, I don't oh. my main relationship goal is communication where we are right years and and still learning eight years sorry eight years in and still learning um and you're going to continue to learn <laughs> got that right i'm sure um because you're going to continue to mature prayerfully and as you mature you want to communicate differently um my writing mentor my writing mentor writes with so much depth and passion but she went through a lot of hard things to get there People just see the writing but have no idea what she went through to produce like that. That's true. And that's what I think a lot of people see when they say, you know, relationship goals. They they see the goal, but, I mean, they see the outcome, but just not the failures. And so when you say that's your relationship goal, are you willing to accept the failures that came along with getting that goal? Um, or, or are you willing to, you know, deal with the whole process? to get to that goal and even if it's not a relationship even if it's the goals that you write down for your own relationship for you know a lot of times we write goals for ourselves and we don't write goals for our relationship for us as a couple and even if you write goals as a couple are you you have to follow through with it you have to make a plan you have to go through the process and when one step of the plan and your during your process doesn't work you have to go back and rewrite the plan and go through that process Right. And so always, it does, it's not always a smooth um, journey to your goal. Um, so when you sit down and write your goals, are you, you know, keep in mind that along with this will be some trials, will be some tribulations, yeah. will be some, we got to go back and do this again. We got to start this over. We got to, wait a minute, we got to redo this plan. We thought it was going to be easy this way and it's not. And so... And because it's two people, it's not going to be as easy as your goal for yourself. Right. So, you know, your goal for my goal might have been I'm going to go to school for four years and I'm going to become a nurse. But, you know, even in those four years, I might have had to revamp some things, change some things because life was happening. Um, but it's different when you have two people that you have to come and sit down with. But I think that every relationship should have goals. And I think that there should be a time limit set to them and that you should revisit you know on wednesday mornings um there's a friend of ours and he gets on here sometimes maybe he's on here tonight richard mcclaren mm -hmm. and he talks a lot about goals a lot about planning and if y'all can listen on wednesday mornings it's great um he talks a, a lot about writing things down and going back and checking you know a lot of people are like wow i don't go back and check you need to go back and check every so often to see how as a couple are you meeting this goal are we meeting or where are we in what we said we wanted some things are going to be years some things are for the year you might say 2019 we want to accomplish this by june or this by december of 2019 but some things there will be this is going to take three or four years to accomplish but you still need to know along your journey how where you are um and then you know then you can really say relationship goal Right. accomplish <laughs> this is my right. own relationship goal you know because a lot of times i see i see that on and listen hey if you type it you type it whatever but you know it's just interesting because i see it on a lot of successful things or a lot of couples you know let's take um what's that what's the guy's name that just passed away nipsey yeah, um awesome. what's her name and what's his wife oh girlfriend whatever 
Okay. Um, Y'all know. Lauren? Lauren London. Yes. So if you, so let's take those two, you know, and everybody, I'm taking, I'm just using that because everybody apparently knows who they are. <laughs> Maybe I didn't until this happened, but everybody <laughs> apparently knows who they are because it's been all over the place. So, but, but do you want her relationship goal now? Do you want to go through the grief? The morning to get with you know because everybody they was together they was you know smiling shining everything's good but whatever she's going through now do you want that you know that's a part of her relationship yeah. you know so you, we just have to be careful and we all of course we only saw what they presented to us we nobody was in the house with them and saw whatever right. so you know and success is nice and you can have success you know um but you will you will have to Work that thing yourself, you and your spouse. And even to my favorite people out here, my favorite people who are the engaged people. The engaged people, y'all are my favorite people. Y'all can have goals too. Being engaged, you can have goals. And maybe right then you might see, whoa, wait a minute, you want something that I'm not, you know, wait a minute. That's, you know, and that's time to talk and to decide and to figure out what you want to do with your relationship and what you're going to do when you get married, you know. That first goal should be that wedding date. When how y'all gonna get there? Right. So um, um, I said that last time. I'm like, okay, somebody must need somebody must need to set that wedding date because I just said that twice. So um, we y'all come and you know talk to us about your goals. We wanna we wanna hear if you were successful, if you weren't successful. Call in and let us know. You're gonna help somebody every week. We come on here to um, spark up conversation. To we're not your we're not your um, counselors, we're not, you know, your 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 leaders, but we do come to spark up conversation and to have something for you to talk about with your spouse and to think about and hopefully to better your relationship. So if you have a comment, please call one eight five five four nine three six four nine nine. If you're with us on Facebook, you can type your comments. We will read them. Um, if you have a question, um, we will answer them if we can, and if we cannot, we will direct you to someone who can. <laughs> So, um, so, you know, because I think it's important. This is important to make sure that you have goals. You might want to have a goal book, like just a book that you pull out. Y'all have, you know, a night every couple of months and you see where you are with certain goals, have short term goals and have long term goals, you know, and really have a goal, really not just, you know, and have a plan to it you know i want to make a million dollars in five years well how are you going to do that let's first start with getting a business getting a job something you know that's not going to fall out the sky a million dollars is not going to fall out the sky so you know you may have to start with the little small things that you can achieve and make sure that the things that you're writing you can achieve them small attainable goals um i got some more stuff for you uh, with or without the kids, you're saying uh, that was when he was talking. Yeah, when I, I think when I was talking about, um, you know, initially starting out about the goals. Um, but yeah, I, I think the question was with or without the kids reaching the goals. The question. I think it was a statement. Oh, that with or without the kids. Okay. It's no such thing as failure when you continue to take forward steps. True, if you get up and can take forward steps. Some people think they're going to write their goals and they're going to go straight through it. They really don't understand that this thing is a process. You are going to stumble and you're going to have to get up. And keep it moving. So when we continue to take forward steps, you're right. We won't. There's, there's. We, we are not failures. But there are some people who don't understand that this is getting to a goal is a process, and the process may be longer than what you thought. Sometimes, you know. Right. I thought I was going to be a nurse in four years. It did. It took me a little bit longer than that. But I'm one. And if y'all, if I wouldn't have told y'all that, y'all wouldn't know. Right. So, you know. <laughs> It's just, you know, it's a process. And the problem I think sometimes is, is that we have to only show our successes because when we're vulnerable or when we say, if if Marcus and I told our whole story to y'all, if we came on here one night, we couldn't tell our whole story yeah, in a year. I, I mean, in a in an hour. I said in a year. In a year. Take us a year. <laughs> Take us a year. We couldn't tell our whole story in, a, in our hour show. But if, if we came on here and we just started telling the real deal, the real pieces of our life, of our marriage. We, 
first of all, people wouldn't be able to handle it. But second of all, we would it would be so much backlash to it instead of understanding that we're trying to show you that through the process you can still make it. Right. You can still make it. So, you know, this young lady, um, Steph Curry's wife posted something and I don't even know what it is, but I do know that she was being honest and vulnerable and some of the stuff I've seen is just ridiculous. Like that was her that was what she felt and this is what she posted and so this is i think a problem and sometimes even reaching the goal or sometimes even getting help to 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 your goal because people are nervous to be open and honest with you right you know they can't always just say like listen i'm not just telling you this because it fell out the sky or god gave it to me but also because i walked this thing and I did this, so okay. I know it's possible. So, um, and that was a hard lesson for me to learn. But um, next comment, I think a goal book is a great idea. We'll implement that. Oh, praise God! I, I think yeah, I think we need to have like a goal book, and then you go back and you, you you're able to check things off, scratch them out, start over, whatever, or say yeah, we're on our way. You know. There was a there was one time when we had our paper and we were like, wow, we have hit right. most of these goals, you know, and it was good. It was a good feeling. Right. Um, but you have to, and also when you're doing this together, you can remind each other, you know, and if if your spouse is saying, hey, do you really need to buy those shoes or hey, do you really need to purchase this now, you know, um, then they're trying to just help you get to the goal that y'all have set it's not always about nagging or about they don't want you to get anything you know you know we had that (laughs) a little while ago about spending money but we're not gonna go back there because i'm not gonna you know go back there because i proved my point but i'll tell y'all about that later so because i got a good mother's day gift happy mother's day to all the mothers out there and you know that's good. And fathers, y'all not mothers. Just like mothers, y'all not fathers. So, only a mother can be a mother. That's the truth. Um, so, but I got a really good Mother's Day gift, so I'm not going to talk about that. So, um, but yeah, Cedric, I'm happy. I'm ecstatic about this gift. Listen, here, y'all going to know. As soon as I put them on, y'all going to know. So, um, when, so when you set your goals, you know, um, just go back review it you know talk to each other about it and you have to write it down you say uh, my comment says that we don't have anything written down you have to write it down because one will say no we said this by this date the other will say no we said this by this date and if if they're me then me i'm never gonna say like you're right because i feel like i can remember everything that was said and every date that it was said so you know then you have this whole miscommunication going back and forth so yes write it down write your goals down and then read the paper you know that's like some putting something in your calendar you know people like put it in your calendar sure i'm like that's great but if i never read my calendar right how will i know where i'm supposed to be so you know we set a point to you know put a put a note somewhere on such and such day we're going to review our goals you know put stickies sticky pads in your in your room or whatever somewhere where other people aren't right we're only in your bathroom or in your bedroom put put that up so yes every week so put that up so um you can you can be reminded to go back and look at your goals because it's important because then you'll get so far and you'll be like what have we accomplished and I know that Team Bevins, we've told y'all that every anniversary you should be leading up to your anniversary. I'm not going to say on your anniversary because it may make for a bad one. Leading up to your anniversary, you should be saying, what have we accomplished? Yeah, evaluating. My favorite people. Leading up to your year that you, because I know y'all still be celebrating like y'all, you know, I did it too. Like, oh, we've been together two years. So, my favorite people, engaged people. And leading up to your year or whenever you met or whenever you got engaged you should be saying what have we accomplished this year towards the goals of being one or whatever it is that you you know plan to do but definitely spouse husband and wife you should be um saying what hey what have we accomplished this year did we meet our goals 
did we are we you know what have we accomplished in our marriage what have we accomplished that we said we were going to do you know you have to put it down and commit to it commit to it commit to doing it commit to what you put on the paper not just oh i'm gonna do this because she want to have this meeting or he want to have this meeting commit to doing it and i promise you that later you'll be like wow we've accomplished so much small things are big you know when you when you look back on them and say wow we've accomplished so much if even if it's just paying your mortgage or rent on time for six months that's an accomplishment for some people right that's an accomplishment for somebody who cannot who does not pay bills on time it is that's an accomplishment like so you know you need to um continue to uh Continue to oh I hate Tane Wilson. You need to continue to um, write it down, look at it. Y'all call in, talk to us, tell us what are some goals that you're trying to set or you've accomplished and maybe some of the things that you you know, how you got there or you know, some of the things you shouldn't do, um, so that, you know, somebody can get one step ahead. Because right. people need help and, and we're helping people and um, you know, you can call in at one 493 6499 or you can type on Facebook if you're with us on social media. But this is very important. Hashtag relationship goals. So when you do that, you can hashtag yourself. You know, you can hashtag yourself. Um, we have some friends that just graduated together. Right. And they can hashtag themselves. Like, they both graduated from school, college together. Not, you know... Not that I don't think it was both of their first time. I think it's masters or something like that. But you, they can hashtag themselves because they have children, they work, they have businesses, and they manage to do online programs. Maybe went to the school, but I think they were online programs, and they graduated at the same time. So they have pictures together. Hashtag goals. Now that that is relationship goals right there. Y'all went the now y'all want to work in whatever career or whatever or further it whatever you got your masters or or bachelor's in and that's a goal that's something real deal but if they are able to tell their story about how they went through this and what was going on in the process i you know the pictures look nice i was like oh that's nice see see i told you we can graduate together that look real nice but what is their process what was their process to it you know, sometimes I wish we would just put our process on. I said this before. These business owners, these bosses, I'm a boss, I'm this, I'm that. I wish you would put your process on here. Don't show me your cars you bought. Don't show me, you know, y- y- your pocketbooks you bought. Show me your process. Show me your process. So then I can really say, like, oh, is this is this what I want to do? Or, oh, this is how you obtain a goal. And then some of these young kids will not think, and our, some of our children will not think that we can just say it and get it. Right. I, I used to be that child. And sorry, I don't know if any of y'all, but I thought that I could just say, I want a Lamborghini with the doors that open up, upward. So my father said, you can have it. But he didn't. He failed to say that if you work real hard <laughs> and you save your money, so he left that part. Then out. you can get it because I thought that you just go and you just get it. Right. I was young. I didn't know, so I thought like, all right, I can have it. That's what I, I can have it. Just go and get it. And you know, sometimes as adults, we live like that. We like, oh yeah, that's what they did. And then you get in it and you want to quit. And let me tell you something. We're not quitting. We are not quitters. Right. Okay. Anybody listening on Mixed Station Live Radio, or listen, looking at us on Facebook, we are not quitters. We do not quit. So when you write them goals down, I don't care how hard they get. You hang in there and you do it until you're finished. Because if you're not a finisher, it will be hard to even have a relationship. Yeah. It will be hard to even to, to get along in your relationship. We do not quit. If communication is what you're working on, you don't quit. You don't quit. Stay you ready. continue to move forward. Quitters never prosper. <laughs> said that. I want a t-shirt. That was a t-shirt. That was, yeah, that was a t-shirt. Yeah, it's a t-shirt. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dig it. Yeah. <laughs> So let's um let's you know let's bring another another uh, part to the equation, um, and 
you know, my, my question for all of the people, all of the couples, what are you going to do when your kids are gone? Um, cause that's an area, that's an area that most people in relationships don't plan for. You know, they don't plan for it because a lot of people have made their children their marriage. And, and you're, you've got distance in your actual relationship because all of your focus is on your children. And what's going to happen when your children leave? Because you do know they're going to either go to college, get a job, get their own place, move out, something to that effect. At least I'm sure that's your hope. Um, but when they're gone, what's, what, what are you guys going to have? You know, what's going to be the status of your relationship and, and, and what will you guys, you know, really be able to kind of live off of and build um, and produce? Because if you don't have a plan for that, if you don't have a goal for when your kids are gone, you know, when you become those empty nesters and in and, and the work of raising children and, you know, all of that takes that 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 becomes available. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? I've seen so many relationships actually break up after they did all the hard work. They did all the hard work of making the relationship work while building a family, while raising the kids. Kids turn out good. You know, they're pretty stable. They go to college or get a career, move out, and then the relationship falls apart because in the building process, they forgot to build them. They never had a vision for them after they had kids. And, and that's something that, you know, we fail in relationship. We start out in love with just the two of us. And as a result of that love, the family grows, you know, it multiplies. But if you don't, if you don't keep that fire burning, then your whole focus will go to the children and you'll be all concerned about what they're doing and all of that. And then when the kids are gone, then what will you have? You know, I've seen so many relationships actually break up because of children. Because they can't, they can't focus on the relationship. They only focused on their kids, you know. And as a result of it, you end up losing your relationship. And then your kids leave, and then you stuck with nothing because your kids gone. Because now they didn't got their own relationship. They built their life. They built their career, and they're gone, living life. And you lost yours, pretty much, trying to secure theirs. You know, it's it's almost like what they tell you when you're on the airplane. You know. You have to put you have to put this oxygen on your nose over your mouth for you to survive to be able to help somebody else. And, you know, for some reason, that order and structure of how the family is supposed to be actually done gets lost in the sauce, because if it comes down to as a man, as a husband, if it comes down to you, you know, if you had to save one person and it was either your child or your wife, you're supposed to save your wife. Because you can make another child, but you and your child can't make another wife. Now, of course, you know, that ain't the concept for, you know, for the people to be lost and all of that. But when we don't have the right perspective and we're not looking at it properly, then we won't do the right things and we'll mismanage the moment. And there are a lot of moments that we've mismanaged. There are a lot of opportunities and times that we've had within our relationships that we've mismanaged, you know. And the, the question, you know, the question is on the table. What are we going to do when our children are gone? Because we, go, we can go hard in the paint for the kids, but it ain't as many people going hard in the paint for their marriage. And if you don't have a, if you don't have a goal, if you don't have a plan for what you guys are going to be and what you're going to do when your children are gone... You can get to that point and be coming right off the celebration of everything that they've accomplished and lose y'all. And that's not the goal, you know, that's really not the goal. So, you know, these are the kinds of things that we really have to consider, you know, and in some instances, you know, the thing that I've learned is you really don't know what you don't know. So if these are things that that in your natural self, you don't think about somebody has to point them out. And if you're not around people who will point those things out to you, you'll stay stuck in that same place of not thinking about it. You know, if you're the smartest person in your circle, then you're in the wrong circle. Definitely. You know, you're in the wrong circle, you know, and 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 if it and, and it's kind of hard because if your circle is the same circle that everybody in the circle got then y'all ain't going nowhere if it's only the, if it's only the four of y'all you know you got three people that that complete your circle and those other three people have the same you know people in their circle you guys aren't going anywhere 
because who's who's getting who's getting fed something that they can bring back to the group that can better the group you know who's getting some insight that they can bring back that can you know better the situation and so you know sometimes we get stuck with unnecessary loyalty because there's a history so you know these are all kinds of all kinds of things that we got to consider and take into account because in order for us to be successful truthfully and to have longevity in our relationships we have to be willing and able to evolve and if you as an individual are not evolving and your relationship is not evolving then you're going to be you know 12 and 15 and 18 years into a relationship that's still in the second year because nobody's growing nobody's getting better nobody's evolving and you're going in circles but you're still together you know and so the object is for us to grow the object is for us to be better the object is for it to be forward progress you know and so what kind of goals do we have for when the children are gone doesn't matter if you only got you know two more months before they off to college or they going into service or they get married or whatever or it could be that you have an infant the time isn't the factor it's the plan because if you don't have the plan if you don't have the vision for it it doesn't matter if you're starting six months or 16 years if there's no vision you're still going to be in the same place so you know we've got to we've got to look at that we really have to look at that let's uh, go to some of the comments What's the best way for husband and wife to partner in business if they both if they both have business, separate business visions? That's a really good question. Um, it's almost like, you know, the, the concept of if you want to confuse someone, give them too much. You know, if you want to confuse a man's vision, give him too many because he can't focus properly on them. And now the reality is this. If the both of you are going to have businesses in your relationship the question is will you actually be partnering with both or will both of you just be doing your own thing you know are you uh, waiting for the names no no no, no. Oh. i'm saying i'm saying i'm saying because it's not directly to you know oh. to the person asking the question it's in general you know that they're asking on behalf of, of america and so um you know like partnering with both so they're two different things no 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 i I mean i get it with the two different businesses but i'm saying like you know although it's two different businesses are both parties putting forth a hundred percent in both businesses or is one just putting a hundred percent in one business and the other is putting a hundred percent in the other because it's kind of hard to put you only have one hundred percent so it's kind of hard to put a hundred percent in two places you know what i mean so the partnership is important, um, but it ultimately comes down to role play. If role play is established, and 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 people you know have a part to play and they're playing their their part, then you know it can work. But th- in a situation like that, that is extremely delicate and requires an extensive level of communication, because to effectively build in two different places, as well as maintain the relationship. And if there's any other components to the equation within the family, children or any of those type of obligations, then all of that, you know, becomes a part of the scenario. So that's a that's definitely something that that the communication has to be on point. They have to be in agreement completely, because if not, then you will um, you will you. It's easy for you to feel like somebody's trying to hold you back from from what your vision is. So you have to prioritize. Right. You have to prioritize. Um, so you do have to have a lot of communication because you have to sit down and talk about what what the steps or the timing for each business, maybe to get it started, to see a return on it, which we know businesses don't have a return like that. Um, I don't think that um, unless you're really, really good, you can do it simultaneously. So somebody will maybe possibly have to wait, you know, wait on starting or wait on, um, furthering the business because you need to prioritize and see what you can handle in your relationship at this time. And then what you can, 
you, you know when can you add or can you possibly do them together but you have to have a great amount of communication for that because um i don't it won't be successful if you don't communicate um or effectively communicate let me say that about right. it but somebody has to be willing to not um to take to to take you know the low road for a second um you know just to get one business up and running and then begin to start the other one right and that's good because again with that you're talking about scheduling you know um operating hours within the business and proper planning and all of the steps that money, have to be taken right money you know, and money because starting a business requires money and to have to have startup money for two businesses as well as maintain life can be you know straining and pressing so all of that you know that's why the the communication is very important um you know the bible says to um write the vision and make it plain but it also yes. says to make sure that you count the costs yes you yes. know um all of that is important so that you don't um run into a situation or you jump in with both feet and then realize I'm, I'm getting a little deep into this and now we need to swim back to shore with both of us out here so there's nobody to grab to you know bring back to shore what if we can part okay. what if we can partner with the vision of one but have difficulties partnering with the other then that's exactly what you're going to have the difficulty because both both parties have to buy into both and that's the that's the part of what we were saying about the hardship in it because if both parties don't um if both parties don't buy into um both then you're talking about a whole nother situation that becomes that much more difficult Mm -hmm. um because not only does it stop the business but it can bring resentment Mm -hmm. um it can make one begin to hate the other because not the person but the the vision because how is this vision getting attention and this one isn't you know and that's generally going to be the person who's the visionary for the one that's getting the lack um or it could potentially make that person stop producing as much as they were producing on the other vision because theirs isn't getting the type of participation that they desire so you have a lot of components that um could go into that but that's why that's why the the strategy is important for um, starting a business and really considering um, how to do it. The first question that I would ask is if this is the first time that both parties are starting a business, then I would not recommend doing two businesses at the same time because it's kind of like the blind leading the blind. You don't fully know everything that you are doing to try to do it in two different places at the same time. So we'll probably make, you know, in a, in a sense of wisdom to to focus everything on one to make it a template that brings success and then use the template on the second because you'll be able to accomplish the second one a little easier and a little faster because some of the wrong turns that you took with the first some of the unnecessary steps that you took with the first you'll know how to avoid those things and to get it done with more efficiency um, with the second but doing it simultaneously can add to your stress level all kinds of things so it's just something to consider how how do we move to how do we sorry how do we come to a conclusion if we don't agree or move collectively um how can two walk together unless they agree you really can't move because if you if you're not agreeing then if you move you're not moving in agreement you're just moving if we don't agree to move right right you, yeah, you need to pray for clarity. Um, that's what I would say. I need you need to pray individually and together for clarity, so that you can um, agree um, and and then move. Mm-hmm. What you can't do is move right. without agreeing. Mm-hmm. And so I think you need to pray for clarity, and you need to um, wait. We need to wait. We need to not be so anxious with the things that we want to do. This is my problem. So I'm talking to myself. I get an idea. It's like, boom, I'm about to do this. It's going to work. And then it's wrong. And then if Marcus says, hey, 
well what you gonna do here what you gonna do there i don't want to answer all those questions because in my mind i just see it working i don't really want to answer all the questions i ain't even pray yet i didn't even <laughs> figure not, you know what i'm saying none of this stuff out it's the zeal so now i'm in the process of something trying to backpack back paddle mm-hmm. in the middle you know, trying to go back and say, okay, well, I should have started this way. I should have this. Or I should have told them like this. I should have advertised like this. I should have. So, yeah, I think it, it, you have to pray for clarity and you have to move when it's clear and it's and you can agree. Um, and do I think it's possible? Yes, I do. Um, I don't know the business idea. I'm not asking you to put up there, but I'm just saying I, I just think that sometimes we have to wait. We have to do it. Um, in order and so you have to pray for clarity and then when you can agree when you can communicate and agree then you can move forward that's uh that's definitely you know the key Uh, i don't think that anything is impossible it's the level and degree of difficulty that we want to um you know put with it so that's the part that i would you know that i would add to that so you know, she gave you some great stuff to, to to look at and consider and to do, and I would definitely start there. Hope that helped you guys a little. Um, so, you know, in that too, another one that we um, need to consider as well is: Do you plan vacations? You know, um, on on two different two different spectrums. Do you plan them for the family and for the couple? Or do you only plan them for the family? Or do you only plan them for the couple? You know, um, because these all kind of fall under goals, you know, um, and, and, and having a plan and, and being able to execute the plan. I think that it's I think that in relationships, sometimes uh, one of our one of our for lack of a better term and using the word failure or hindrances, you know, that we have is um, not planning properly. So when we don't when we don't plan properly, we can end up missing out on some things. Like, um, you know, let's say you wanted to uh, let's say you wanted to buy a car, you know, and you like we need to get another car or whatever the case, you know, cool. But if you don't plan properly, you can go to the wrong place to get the same car that you could have gotten somewhere else a lot cheaper with. Uh, you know, different lender or with a different interest rate or, you know, at a different cost or what have you. So that planning is, is important. And if you don't do the proper planning, then, you know, you know, the, the phrase, if you plan to fail, then you fail. I mean, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. <laughs> yeah, if, you fail if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Um, so, you know, that that planning process is important. And sometimes we we don't do a good job. Um, on that and sometimes we don't do a good job not because we didn't plan some people plan well but communicate bad. so you did plan but the plan is in your head and you didn't communicate it with you know your partner um, some people just don't plan well but they but if you give them a plan they will execute the mess out of it because they aren't a planner they're a doer you know what I mean you got to know who you got to know who you're with and you guys have to be able to pull out the best parts of each other. Um, and that's, you know, that's something that is beneficial to your relationship. But, you know, as far as your, your I, you know, the two things that I, I learned, we struggle with. Um, and it, it helps with our longevity. And that deals with us vacationing. And that deals with us getting massages, treating our, our stress levels, treating, you know, our body and treating our minds from our day-to-day rigorous activities Um, we don't do that well and then we're trying to figure out why we're running down because we aren't properly taking care of ourselves we aren't properly properly taking um, breaks for mental health for you know taking breaks to you know relax and and to release and to rejuvenate so that we can come back and, and and this is the reality everybody benefits everybody benefits from you having a vacation listen for years i did not vacation not because we couldn't it just wasn't a priority to me because my priority was i need to work the family was ready to take them but i was like "Ah, i gotta work you know and and my mentality was we're gonna spend money that i could be making so you know 
for a long time, my family did not take vacations because I was a workaholic going to work. And I was so, and this is the thing, my, my intentions were good because I was so dedicated to making sure that we didn't go without, but at the same token, we were going without because we were going without vacation. They were going without me because I was so focused on making sure we didn't go without. And so, you know, that can be, that can be detrimental to the relationship that can be detrimental to you as an individual your your personal health you know your your personal um place it, mentally physically all of that mm-hmm. you know i wasn't getting uh massages things like that it would be like once every blue moon, like and it would be like a real faint blue so you know it would be some years in between time of doing that but it you know and later I learned the importance and the value of it, you know, how that adds years to your life, how that, you know, that that produces you end up producing a better quality. And when I said everybody wins, your job wins, because when you take that break, you're coming back refreshed, you're coming back rejuvenated, you're coming back with less stress. So you're going to produce better. You know, your family wins because they get that uninterrupted time with you. You know, your spouse wins because they get to have their their un- uninterrupted time with you. So everybody wins wins in that scenario and if you plan properly it doesn't have to hurt your pocket so you know some of us are not you know taking vacations some of us are not doing the things to rejuvenate ourselves and all of that and your vacation doesn't necessarily have to be you know some elaborate exaggerate thing that you're doing it could be a staycation it doesn't matter what it is but it's about you taking some time to regroup to relax to rejuvenate to release so that you can go back you know full full throttle ready to roll like i asked i asked them last time we were on um about your or we asked about your dream vacation and i just wonder how many people are planning towards that is that a goal like if that's your dream vacation write that down that's your relationship one of your relationship goals whatever your your dream amount to have in your bank account is a goal and listen that's nothing but doing it yep that 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 amount in your bank account comes down to doing it like planning it right in the goal what you want to have planning it how you're going to do it and actually doing it so in the beginning of the year we have these you know put five dollars put three dollars put fifteen dollars and everybody is posting this is what i'm about to do but as soon as the sale come you know as <laughs> soon as the holiday come it's out the door you have to do it just say this is what i'm doing and at the end you will see the fruit of it but you won't see the fruit if you don't follow the plan you know and then you have to communicate and you have to help each other because you will not see the fruit of that and that is very attainable there are many things financially that we can attain but we think we can't because we are so busy saying oh um or doing other things you know like eating buying lunch every day buying breakfast every day buying a coffee every day if whoever out there buys coffee from a very well-known place every day you need to add up that ten dollars you're spending or eight dollars or whatever and figure out what you can purchase with this if you just get a carrier at your house and do it at your house right how much money would you spend at your house i mean would you spend buying it and doing it at your house versus purchasing it every day and there are some everydayers out here so, you know, their goals are attainable. There are goals. Those business goals you can attain, but you have to sit down and talk about them. You have to write it and then, you know, and you have to go through with it. Like I said, you have to go through with it. And so for my favorite people, my engaged people, my favorite people, if you, you know, and this, you know, the comment about business was very good because when you're engaged, you know, if you have some ideas you need to be telling your fiance now listen i want to own a trucking company this that, and the third because they might not be with that and that's something you need to talk about don't automatically think because you are married that your spouse is going to agree with everything you say and do because i'm a i can tell you you know y'all i give y'all real life situations that he is not or she is not (laughs) going to agree with everything or like oh yeah that's great do it no it's gonna be some questions some how much money i you know got how much we got put up for this what how much time is this going to take away from us 
how how long before you think it's going to be successful you know a lot of things that you may not want to answer because i don't like to answer questions if i said i'm gonna do it you know i'm not a quitter i'm gonna do it don't ask me any questions about it but that's not how it works in team bevins i would like for it to you know i'll be like i can just do this you know so relationship goals you know hashtag relationship goals when we start when we see that or when we're typing that we should be typing it from ourselves right. we should be relationship goals ourselves this is our actual goal we accomplish not something that we see somebody done the success and don't know their process right you know and again you type what you want you know you type what you want you do what you want i just want we just want to you know you to think about it to spark some you know, jog your, your, your conversation so that you will be saying, yeah, really, what are our goals? What do you want out of your relationship? Not just to have children and raise them. What else is there? You know, and this is from us. We have six children, but what else is there? Because I promise you what, what Marcus said is the truth. Because our 22-year-old ain't thinking about us. Our 18-year-old ain't thinking about us. They gone on with their life. And then we're what? Sitting around, can't communicate, don't have any goals for the future, don't have any goals for what you want to do when you retire or whatever. So you need to really be doing, what do you want? What do you want out of your relationship? What do you want? What do you want to do? Is it something that you wanted to do last year that you didn't do? Why aren't you working towards it this year? You know? relationship goals but know that those goals come with a process they come with planning they come with conversations they come with don't think because these people are stars or because and it's not even always stars you know right. people have put relationship goals on us people i have friends i see people putting relationship goals under their stuff and i'm like what's the process to this goal because maybe it wouldn't be a goal for you <laughs> and your process won't be the same always but there will be a process. Right. That's one promise I can make you. There will be a process. Yep. So, you know, people see the smiling pictures and, you know, and I have a friend who always say anybody, people can be whoever they want to be on social media. Yep. They can make up a whole life. And when you find out their real life, you're like, what in the world? I've been following you. I've been putting relationship goals. <laughs> and this is not even the truth. <laughs> but if that's what you see and that's what you want to attain, sit down with your spouse. How do we get this? I just saw somebody post a mansion. How do we get that mansion? Because they didn't, they weren't born in it. Nobody left it to them. How do we get it? If that's what you want. You know, it, how, how, how do we, uh, you know, listen, a relationship goal for me is to be like 90 90 some years old still married and healthy like when you see when you see you know I, i'm a home care nurse so i go in a lot of people's houses when i go in a house and i see a, a couple that is healthy or that you know i might be there because they had a surgery or something but they've been together for 60 70 years or something like that and they just is happy and smiling and you know, because I see some things. When I go in people's houses, they, listen, I see the real deal. If they don't like each other, they don't like each other while I'm there. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care if you're the nurse. They don't care if you're physical therapist. They don't care. I don't know why I marry him. I don't know why I'm taking care of him. People have said that. Right. So, I, so when I see that, this is, you know, that's a goal for me. Like, how, how did you keep your health up? Like, what did you do and what didn't you do? Yeah. Well, first of all, I don't eat that, and I don't do that, and I don't do that, and I do this, and I drink one glass of wine a day. Can I do that? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you hear whatever, whatever people say, but that's a goal for me. What's the process to that? <laughs> Denying myself of some of this junk and garbage that I'm putting in my body. But do I really want that process Right to that goal? You know, forget the car. Anybody can get a car, y'all. Yeah. Anybody can, you can get, listen, anybody can get any type of car they want. Now, how long you going to have it in good condition might be something else. Right. Because can you pay for the maintenance mm -hmm. and can you pay the payments? Right. But you probably can go right now and get the car, one of the cars you want. This is the car. Definitely. 
So, we have come to the end of our show. And this might be a part two. Thank you. Well, we just want y'all to, to think about your goal. Write a plan. Go through the process. Share the your result. time with us tonight. We have a great to night, y'all. Pray for us. Next week at 9 p.m. Be friends with you. Feel free to share this on your page with any of your people. We so, benefit from this conversation. That's not a hand we're grateful that you shared your time nice. with us. And now we've got to go, but we look forward to connecting with you again here on the Couples Corner with Team Feathers.